Jesus. No one can harm us. We are not a superhero. More than a superhero we have because we have Jesus. When you choose to follow His voice. Luke chapter 10 verse 17 to 20. And the 70 returned again with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. That same power that God has given to the 70 is the same power that He has given upon us to proclaim the everlasting of Jesus upon the great power and authority of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can fight the evil and the faith. That is what God has given us. Looking back, in the time of the beginning when Satan had no power over God, the same power that you can have when you have accepted the call to be his disciple. See, but we are not to rejoice because of the power that we can experience. Later on, a while ago, we can testify. But it is only because our names are written. It is because of the great altar and finisher of our faith that we can move mountains. That we can do this. Because Jesus has broke our names in heaven. If it is not because of Jesus who died for us, what are we? And so Jesus invites us near him to come to close. In Luke chapter 9, verse 23, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow Jesus. God is calling every one of us to give up anything that would hinder us to come to follow him. And to follow him is a word that tells us that this should be for our life. As long as we live. It is not just today, tomorrow, but until we have life to walk to follow. You see, we believe that Jesus has called us for our mission. And the title of our message for this Sabbath is what? Mission accomplished. But yet we have not yet accomplished compared to our accomplished last December. We have an accomplishment to go ye into all nations, kindreds, tongues, and peoples, that the work of God may be finished. Is this your desire to finish the work? Jesus has called us to be sent as a lamb. To be sent as a sheep or a lamb. In the book of John chapter 17 verse 18, Just as thou didst send me into the world, I also have sent him. Jesus was sent as a lamb of God, whom we are to follow, the great shepherd. And this also we are to proclaim that people will follow. The one who have gave himself for every one of us. And even those who are not hearing us right now, in every parts of the world, who are not listening live, are called to follow the Lamb. You see, friends, Christ, the one who died on the cross, 
can never come unless he be willing to be sent. So is every one of us are called to be sent for a mission that will lead to end destruction caused by the devil. And unless we follow Jesus, we cannot be the prayer of his will. The will that all may be one in him to finish the work and bring end to sin. Is this your will also? To bring end to destruction in choosing to follow him? Is this your will? To bring good tidings that the kingdom of God is come nigh and that Jesus is coming again? Is this your will? To give up and surrender your whole life to Jesus Christ and let him write your name in the book of heaven? Is this your will? To be the prayer of Jesus Christ? Christ. Is that if that is your will in this time, brothers and sisters, I invite you to stand up for Jesus. I invite you to stand up for Jesus who died for us when he himself had suffered and put his will to the Father's will that we may have life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have seen the decisions of your people this Sabbath day. May it be that may you be silly and grant them the power that you have gave your disciples to be used in proclaiming that there is victory in Christ. And we want to experience that victory. And so, Father, as a lamb who was laid in sending Jesus, and as you have shown and Make us known in your word that he is the king, Jesus. Then let it be that he will reign in our hearts first, that we may follow him all the days of our life. Bless us, dear Father, and may it be that you will grant us the forgiveness from all the sins and iniquities that we have done before. Thank you, Father, for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for the gift of appreciation. And I believe that we can, I can only be standing here because of God's grace. If it's not because of God, I'm nothing. And so we give back as His people the praises, honor, and glory to His name. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.
all this visited for some instruction of what did we have done. And before we partake the food, I'll uh, just give you uh, some instruction. No? But before that, uh, this coming month, this coming afternoon, this afternoon, uh, your program will be start at 2 o'clock. Please uh, be here, uh, especially those uh, teams that are not yet uh, presented your presentation, okay? So, for instruction, before as we put in line for the meal, uh, guys, matatake, okay lang ba? Mawala yung mga bumahe sa pila? Okay, so that's good. Alright. <laughs> okay, so please fall in line because we have the meal. And please be aware, mga kapatid, that after eating, please uh, throw your brush in the proper um, brush can be at the pasunahan sa labas, okay? For the hindi magkawama yung ating mga gantors dito, okay? So, thanks, thank you so much, and please come in at your own time, please be here, and I will be here. Let's pray for the food, okay?